Hey guys, we'll have a quick review on the launch performance of Hugh Haven and Arcade, uh, both of which were off to a slow start. Let's take a look. Uh. Let's see. Later I'll be talking about Arcade, by the way, because I don't think I've done a review, right? The first one we'll be talking about will be these two's performance over the how many weekends was go? Maybe about yeah, that's about two weekends ago. Hugh Haven didn't do as well as uh, most people expected. Uh, I personally thought it would sell about 30 plus 40 percent, but apparently it was way lower than that. Here, 33 percent is a uh, is based on this supposedly launch unit. Mm, I don't know whether they are supposedly actually launching the whole thing. By the way, but uh, this is the total amount. So, so based on this, I would say this is this is about half of this. That means this is only about six. 17% around there. I don't think this is too awesome. Uh, then again, it doesn't mean that it's, um, over the long term, it's going to be a disaster. But of course, if it doesn't reach that at least 30% threshold, then definitely likely uh, developers will be a little bit more kanjong, especially some buyers. I Quite a few of them already reached out to me and say that oh you know la, last time I should have, should have watched my review before uh, committing and then now they are having second thoughts on whether to exercise and they want to forfeit come on la, guys, guys, almost this this is happening almost like how many how many launches are so many launches i be experiencing this kind of thing happening again and again and again it's because people fail to do their due diligence and then they have, they get cold feet when after they commit already then they are telling me that they are going to sacrifice tens of thousands or twenty thousand plus dollars, thirty plus thousand dollars because you failed to uh, do a due diligence beforehand. Why would you want to make such an expensive mistake? You should have done all the homework and due diligence before you even commit. You shouldn't go to the show flat, uh, especially during launch day with all the pressure. You shouldn't be going there and then succumbing to all the pressure on that day itself. In fact, I think the best time to the best scenario to buy will be to go when the show floor is empty. Why would you want to? But then again, it's typical Singaporeans like I understand. I think because Singaporeans like to go where people like to go, right? Because where people like to go must be a good deal, right? Unfortunately, well, we see some of the biggest, uh, most profitable properties in recent years. They don't seem to be that well received at the start. But then again, it's a typical Singaporean mentality, which I perfectly understand, but I perfectly don't agree with. Let's let's get it clear. Back to uh, Hugh Heaven. So all the buyers were aged around here for about 70%. Uh, all the, yeah, around there, all of them were Singaporeans or PR. There are no foreigners buying this area, which is totally not surprising because why would a foreigner want to buy here? If there are generally very little percentage of foreigners who are willing to buy because over here, very little percentage of them are willing to pay ABSD. Why would you want to pay ABSD in a place where most people are not paying ABSD? Then about 70% of them are generally the younger crowd. Quite a lot of them are still buying uh, 30% of uh, 50 and above. <coughs> Probably um retirement house. Majority were two and three bedrooms. I cause I don't think there is a one bedroom, right? So obviously. Uh, 51 of the of Arcadis, 172 units, were, which is basically under 30% were sold. All the one plus study were gone and most of the two bedrooms were gone. That means essentially mostly left with the bigger units, which are generally harder to move. And given that kind of area uh, to sink in that kind of money, I don't think it's a very uh, wise decision either. But then again, uh, if if everyone is wise, then we wouldn't be seeing people bouncing out, regretting their decision, trying to back off and sacrificing tens of thousands of dollars. Right? Uh, well, it always happens. All this, I don't have to talk about it. But basically, they expect market sentiment to improve, which obviously they will improve. It's just a problem. It's just a matter of when it's going to be. When is the interest rate, I would say, going to uh, reduce. When the interest rate reduce, economy will slowly, gradually uh, get better. And then people have uh, realized that it's not that expensive to go and buy probably anyway. Then that's when the demand will start coming again. But then again, if it's a uh, not so good development, even when the demand comes back, I don't think it will perform that well. But if it's a good development, it may be underpriced at this point, but the demand will eventually push back to where the fair value is. <coughs> 
whether exactly the right developer or not, that one you have to you have to do a due diligence, consult the right help before you go ahead and please don't sacrifice your money unnecessarily. There are a lot of rich people in Singapore, I understand, but I think there are better ways to waste your money rather than to throw it to the developer just like this. Rents in the area, I think everywhere in Singapore, like, this is quite a non straightforward. I don't want to use the word, but yeah, this is like the. I don't. I don't know why are these kind of things on the newspaper. Well, but yeah, anyway. So there are not a lot of supply available in the new launches currently for this coming year. <coughs> Only about 11% of them are freehold. Quite a lot of them are million dollar flats in this area. Uh, naturally, you know, the Bunking area, that has a lot of million dollar houses, which we know, uh, yeah, like rich people. Lah. Location is good for, for sure. Uh, but this area, generally, the private developments don't do as well. Okay, if you have access to the data, I'm very sure you will see what I mean. Anyway, back to the with a quick review of Arcadi, this is the concept, disclaimer, whatever I share, just based on my own point of view, make sure you do a due diligence and research before you commit to anything. But anyway, the launch is already over. Now, if you do end up going to the show flat, make sure you do a research before and don't get so in the show flat. Make sure you know exactly what you're doing, basically. This is the original site. Last time it was the Euro Asia apartments. I had one friend that was there before. Uh, the layout is a little bit interesting. I still think it's one of the most interesting layout that, that I've ever seen in, in a in a private condo before. I don't really call it a condo; it's more like an apartment. And then, uh, well, it's, it will be interesting to see what they are up to for the new one. Not exactly super near MRT, but can walk lah. I, if this is not near MRT, I, I really, you want integrated already. Lah. Okay, this one, not exactly very, very close, but it's like one bus stop away. Oh, the, the most important thing is there's a McDonald's nearby. Yeah, I think that's the that's the one that I, that I would prefer. <laughs> so, uh, key things over here, these are land size, and then number of units, and then where is it going to TOP? I think you can write all they want, but if they build <coughs> earlier, then... Um, good for those people who are looking to move in lah, but those people who are not looking forward to the progressive payment good being too fast because you are an investor then we'll see how unit mix they are, all these were gone the smaller units generally will move faster and the maintenance fee you can see nowadays are 400 plus onwards uh, they are not getting cheaper and cheaper uh, simple inflation and then GST uh, all these kind of things uh, so all these are estimated you realize uh, all these are always estimated on that when you take your keys it will always be more or less plus minus here and there <laughs> so for those people who are you know complaining kings and queens make sure all this that's why it is stated estimated because we do have people that oh you know oh, last time we're here la, la, that's it. but this is the keyword okay plus minus over here, these are the supply within one cam radius. It's not too terrible in my point of view, but these the characteristics of development that I don't think is safe. Over here, I don't think this is a very, very big supply issue, but there are, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of small apartments in this area. That will prove to be very strong competition because there are a lot of them freehold and triple nine or all the funny funny leads that are much longer than a 99 if you are in the area and as it's a 99 naturally you'll be the weaker link and then i pull out some examples over here in, they are more comparable in terms of the number of units in the development you can see this whole some of them yeah you may see the graph yeah and it may have gone up yeah i understand but you also need to realize that there are a whole bunch of period where they are pretty much stagnant i wouldn't want to see a development that is going sideways i will go crazy especially if i'm buying for investment same goes for this this one was sideways then reaching on another level for this for at this level for i don't think i want to see an investment that is going sideways for four years i don't think i can stomach this beacon heights at the same level for well, almost 10 years, although there are people who make money, probably people who buy here, but then again, most people won't be able to time the market. And especially if you are looking at any one of these, 
like example beacon highs today you enter here i have no idea whether are you entering here are you is it, are you at the new bottom or are you at the new high nobody knows for sure huh? but if you do want to play a game of chance then i will see feel free to go ahead please remember update me because i'll be very interesting to watch how how the how the result will be uh some view is over here very long um this is like how many years? This is like uh, nine years, nine, nine, nine years of uh, stagnant stagnation. I think this is quite worrying. So generally, you can see the five of them don't do as well when it comes to the chart. But doesn't mean that all of them don't make money. <coughs> they do actually make money. The new ones guy with Zui Residences, I think it's Zui, yeah. they call it the Zui because it's white. The last time it's known the National Aerated Water. Uh, I don't exactly know what is why is this because I remember last time when I was young my father used to drive us uh, uh, past that, that building I never knew I was quite interested in the building but I never stepped out and then go and find out more uh, please for people who are uh, more familiar with that please share please share, leave a little comment and share with us a little bit of history if you do know but it is just for a little bit of trivia but when it comes to profit level, I don't think this is a very ideal profit level. I don't think I want to settle for this kind of profit margin, especially after you factor in all the causes, you are definitely not going to be making too much money. So I would say this is actually not a profitable development. Region residences, it may look like quite a lot of people make money, but if you factor in the causes, they are not exactly so, especially those people who have been holding on since year 2011. Last time, these kind of years uh, you buy uh, is like the super hot year, but people fail to capitalize on it, they make the wrong choice. There's no doubt uh, that this area is a good location. Okay, I don't I don't disagree. I, in fact, I fully agree that this is a good location area. But the issue is just more of, um, will there be a better place to park your money, especially if you're trying to look into grow assets? And that is what we are talking about, and that's why we are on, on this channel, right? Let's not even talk about those people who lose money. Uh, that's just like, Unfortunately, okay, over here after especially the 200 plus thousand people given this kind of size given this kind of content that they bought last time This is definitely not attractive as all at all, especially given the annualized gain of 1.7 percent, etc One St. Michael's if I filter according to the Those who bought after TDSR there are generally quite some people who make money, but not too um gross not to like wow you know like crazy high kind of high profit level uh those there are some of them they are analyzed but then again there there is quite a high chance that some of them already bought because uh or rather they bought and did quite extensive reno right? that's why they are maybe selling with the renovation especially if they are doing like thousand one hundred plus thousand kind of renovation it's a little bit hard to gauge really or whether they are profitable because there is a lot of unaccounted causes in during this short period of time because most likely that time when they bought already it was quite a few years back then let's see once in michael is like how many years once in michael is like since 2009 if it's 2009 then uh by then this guy buys is like eight years old they want to do a full rent full on rent full on rent then probably 100 plus thousand and then you factor in the causes this guy is definitely not making much despite the higher analyze then that's what a lot of people fail to realize when it comes to resale they say oh there are resales that make money i'm not i'm not doubting there are resales that really make money but the problem is how are you going to spot those development in the first place and exactly which unit at what price are you going to enter and that is the tricky part especially in today's market you have to be even more careful the chances of you being able to find such a deal is very very little because there are a lot of sharks out there who are very fast very ready once a good listing once a good unit genuine one uh, they use what unfortunately you are looking at a lot of prom property guru or this alone quite a lot of there are fake listings unfortunately uh, but that one we cannot stop all of them there are just too many of them but if you do manage to find one genuine listing, are you able to commit fast? Are you able to get the price that you actually want? And what are the tricks to get the price that you actually want so that you ensure your profitability? Same goes for Beacon Heights. This whole period of time, I only look at these few guys. Uh, they, this one, yes, oh, handsome, uh, handsome profit margin. Uh, but this is a huge unit. Uh. 
the rest over here are also quite handsome congratulations to them but then again they like what i mentioned they could have done quite some extensive renovation especially beacon heights is quite old you know not wrong also is about 2012 uh not exactly super super old <coughs> but still quite old by the time they bought they probably second owner or something a second one to stay they want to do also a renovation not all but quite a lot will still be looking to do quite extensive renovation most people are lah. even hdb people are willing to spend like 200 plus thousand dollars i've seen people spend not my clients are, but i do hear of people spending 200 plus 300k renovation or hdb yeah well oh, this is like wow it's one almost half the price of their hdb but there are people like that lah. singapore has got a lot of rich people same goes for some view quite some uh i'm only looking at those that are post yes uh, i'm not interested in those that before that uh, they want to buy buy hdb also can make money uh, so uh, those are not very uh, accurate gauge or resale properties but then again we have quite some people who make money and these are the prices they are buying today nearer towards today uh, they are buying this kind of price uh. if rkd is selling at 2500 plus on average then your gap becomes big uh. i'm not saying that rkd will pull out the price because there is another few developments nearby that did try to pull out the price not exactly direct proximity but still quite close enough but it seems like they are not really successful in doing that let's take a look example myra which is very close to the bottom but say mrt it is an mrt project very close over here price gap is big up but what happened did, did it actually pull out the price what happened congratulations unfortunately to those people who got myra yeah they got sold by the nonsense they were sales tactic that quite a lot of these uh people are selling but well they, they they're always always victim out there they are always people who fall for scams property scams love scams rental scams nowadays there's so many scams and i literally had one uh not my friend like a friend's friend who just told me because i met a friend and they were telling me that, oh you know their good friend just lost like thirty thousand dollar over a love scam i don't really call it a love scam because it's like you know they meet on this kind of dating app and then they're saying oh you know you invest uh i, I got this very good low bank you want to invest or not and then basically i'll trick the thirty thousand dollar i'm like huh how do people actually get tricked but yeah these are probably the same kind of people who get tricked for for my round unfortunately um but a lot of people buy with their emotions then try to justify the logic when there's actually no logic behind it generally these are the newest few freehold or triple nine developments in the area up to from, from the arcade area all the way to the bottom area so i would say these are still quite comparable quite still quite relevant uh. and if arcade today is entering at about 2500 plus which is around here then what would be the gap over here So you gotta be careful in that in, in terms of that nah. let's move on this is their break even 2200 plus though it is only right that they are selling about two four two five and above there are some units that are selling about 2400 plus there are some units that have been selling for like i think two six even two seven uh, but average from what i see is about 2500 plus hugh haven on the other hand for information so i think averaging about two oh high two oh to about two one around there psa based on the data that i have um yeah just a quick quick uh, one on on hugh haven i i don't think it's supremely overpriced when it comes to hugh haven but it just seems that at that now at hugh haven i don't think the demand is really there yet first of all there's a huge amount of supply and then there's also very strong resale competitors in that area i don't think that is a very safe place even for me i generally don't recommend clients that i current developments that i don't actually touch myself so same goes for new haven but then again there are still people who are willing to go in there then be wary of the risk lah. just be wary of the risk and be willing to accept it then back to this uh break even over here so it's only natural that they are selling at about two five hundred plus two six okay eventually i i believe i i kind of strongly believe that eventually the supply will be um taken up but uh who will be the one that takes up this uh supposedly good deals but if you look in look in with your microscopic lens is it really a good deal or not let's see 
and then this one is just basically the same news but uh, just to re-emphasize 51 of the 172 units less than 30 percent were sold with a large majority that was small unit the bigger units uh, i think it will take some time uh, it probably will take some time okay so now we come to a conclusion i think this one same it is a good location for arcady you haven't already talked about it the previous one already so i'm not going to talk again uh arcady 200,500 plus 2600 thereabouts if you are looking for a freehold in that area i think there are a lot of alternatives they are way cheaper but if you want something brand new of course please go ahead but i think if you want to buy either both new and resale just purely for investment I think you may want to think again. I think there are better opportunities out there, especially given the rental uh, net net gain. Uh, net net gain. Uh. Although just now, yeah, you've seen that rental prices has gone up. That's because interest has also gone up. Your property taxes has gone up a lot as well. How is it going to be profitable if you are still paying the rent again? That is something that a lot of people still don't understand. Literally just met a friend yesterday complaining to me about his rental. No, thankfully I didn't do his rental. Uh, but he's complaining to me that oh you know he, he last time he used to think that landlord life was good but until he had to deal with tenants then that's, that's when he realized that it's really not as rosy as he think it is so if i mean if the returns are awesome but it's not as rosy as it is you may want to consider but if it's not even as rosy as it is as people think it is and you still want to go through the hassle then I think there are way better ways to, to earn the money without going through that kind of stress. Lah. Okay, that will be all we have for today. Make sure you have, if you have any uh, interesting topics, please make sure you comment on NPM and then how I see how I can contribute. That will be all we have. See you guys. Bye-bye.